Hey Duke fans, Ole Lafreniere here, former goaltender for the Wellington Dukes. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the boys for the game tonight, as well as good luck on your quest for the East and East Cup. Let's make sure we beat those pesky Golden Hawks. I know they were a pain in my crease when I played. So I'll be tuning in with a nice cold orange pop beer. Go Dukes, go! Hey Dukes fans, it's Jonah Capriotti, former Dukes goalie and UPI Panthers goalie in U Sports Hockey now. Um, I just wanted to wish the Dukes good luck today in their second game of the Hasty Peas Cup. And just remember, go beat Trenton, let's go! Good afternoon and happy Halloween. Thank you so much for joining us for this special Your TV broadcast of the OJHL today. It's the afternoon. I'm Ryan Pettigrew. This is Lindsay Heron. We've got a pretty great matchup today. It's the Trenton Golden Hawks, the Wellington Dukes. Always great, but we've got the Hasty Peas Cup round two of eight so far today. Lindsay, what are we expecting? Well, it's spooky game number 13 in the regular season for both Trenton Golden Hawks and Wellington Dukes. Great to hear more from Ollie and uh, Jonah there revving up the Wellington Dukes team. Both 23 olds now, hard to believe. Time goes by so quick. Both goaltenders with the Wellington Dukes. Here's here tonight, Will Nguyen for the Trenton Golden Hawks. Pretty, pretty solid season so far. Obviously, they started 9-0 on the year, and they've stumbled a little recently. You can see his record and stats there. Moving down the ice, it's Matt Dunsmore in net. Friday they went with Morrow. Now it's Dunsmore's turn. 2-4-0 on the season. 3-2-6 goals against average and a 9-0-3 save percentage. Not bad numbers for the young man. Yeah, he took exception, so it'll, it'll be a Golden Hawks power play here to start off. Oiko with it at the point. Passes that one down. The Trenton power play looking to capitalize early. Long shot. Scores! Oh, my! Oiko with a clean shot right to the top corner. 1-0 here, just a couple of minutes in on the round two of the Battle of Quinty and the Hasty Peas Cup. Oikul's fourth goal so far in the regular season, and, and that's exactly what Peter Goulet wanted to see as Trenton, when it comes to special teams, Trenton's far superior right now compared to Wellington. Um, hitting up the power play, six in the lead, 21%. You gotta figure you want that one back if you're Dunsmore. It, it was a little traffic, I guess you can see it now, Jameson. Did get a pretty good screen on it, so my apologies. Almost looked like he might have gotten a stick on it, but nonetheless, a 1-0 Trenton lead here early as Bala has it behind his own net. Looking to cycle in the offensive end. McGuire working for it at the point, but he won't get it. Now he does. Walks his way in, a shot, hits a body, never makes it. Looks like that one stung in the new score! Second chance opportunity off the missed shot. That Hit Jordan Moogle in front of the net. He's gone straight to the locker room, and the Dukes capitalize on the misdirected puck and put it into the back of the net. A 1-1 hockey game here early on in this game. Hope to see Jordan Moogle back here out tonight. That uh, unfortunately shot, that shot hit him somewhere soft. We'll take another look at the goal here. Wire with the shot for the point. He hit Moogle. I'm not sure where, but uh, off the off the body of Moogle, off the boards, and pretty much on a plate there for. I believe that was McDougal with the goal, and it's a 1-1 game. Trenton working the breakout from their own end, being hounded as he goes up the ice. He'll dump that one deep this line because of the absence of Campbell. Normally playing with the Moros. Shot is wide of the net. Long pass into the neutral zone, and Bancroft away. He's in on a partial break. Oh, an amazing glove save by Dunsmore on the breakaway shot by Bancroft. Excellent effort there. A great long stretch pass there for Bancroft. Kind of caught the defense sleeping. We'll take another look at that play. Good gracious. Bancroft not usually used to getting stopped in tight like that, but Dunsmore does a great job, stands tall, and throws up that glove at the right time. Face-off will come to the left of Dunsmore, won by the Dukes. Whitaker trying to get it, can't get it out. Absolutely. McDougal digs in, 12 seconds to go here on the clock. No doubt just trying to run it out. Brown gets it, and he'll go high and hard off the glass. That one clears the zone, five seconds now. And that should do it for this first period of action. A 1-1 game, couple of nice goals on either end. We'll go into a quick break, and we'll be right back with this special Halloween broadcast on your TV.
Welcome back and thanks for joining us for second period action, second game of the Hasty Peas Cup. Trenton Golden Hawks and Wellington Dukes all tied at one after one period of action. We'll get right down to the grits of it in a minute, but we're gonna... Bancroft wins the faceoff back. McIntosh in the slot, a shot, scores! McIntosh makes it two to one for Trenton early on the power play on the penalty to Captain Emmett Pierce. Right off the faceoff there. McIntosh now tied with Matthew Cato for the most goals scored out of all the, the players right now. He's at nine goals this afternoon. Just three seconds into the power play and McIntosh retakes the lead for Trenton. We'll take another look at that play. Good job by Bancroft to win the faceoff and McIntosh makes no mistake. He goes low glove side on Dunsmore. 2-1 Trenton lead and they have it under control in the Wellington zone. Quick with it, trying to play it up into the middle. Stopped that piece of a broken stick there on the ice. Campbell with it at the dot, shoots in on Nguyen, and it's in! Just screeched through Nguyen's legs, and it's a 2-2 game. Just as fast as you can say Trenton leads, Wellington comes right back. Power play goal of their own. Campbell with his second OJHL goal, as I was just mentioning, and it's a tie game once again. Take another look at the goal. Campbell very patient on that shot and just gets it through the legs of Nui and that one barely trickled over the line, but nonetheless, it's a goal. Brown trying to get that one in as Pierce covers for him on defense and now the Golden Hawks are going the other way. Little friendly fire, it's a two on one for Trenton, passes that one, it goes, scores! Just like that, a couple excellent chances for the Dukes goes the other direction and a 3-2 Trenton lead. Nice play there by Morrow and Fuller going in tic-tac-toe. Yep, Fuller with the goal, I believe, on the play. Just snapped it right past Dunsmore. Take another look at the play. Again, it really developed quickly and Fuller just takes full advantage. Uh, Dunsmore had that pretty well covered. Fuller did a great job of finding the hole there, but yeah, a couple of opportunities for the Dukes there. They couldn't capitalize, and the puck just very quickly turned the other direction. Trenton capitalizing on having a defenseman in deep for the Dukes. McIntosh passes that cross to Cato. Cato drops that off to Bancroft. Bancroft passes it backwards to McIntosh. Across the ice to Robinson. Robinson behind the net, and it scores! Oh, excellent pass off the backboards behind the net from Robinson to Bancroft, and he's got his eighth on the year, extending his team lead in points as well. Great week for the kid. So just one minute left here in this second period, and it's 4-2 for Trenton off the Bancroft goal. The captain doing it once again for his team. Take another look at that, some crafty passing by Robinson. Excellent job by Trenton moving the puck around the zone and Bancroft capitalizes. Right at the side of the net, no chance for Dunsmore there. A very good pass, perfect angle on it by Robinson and it's a Bancroft goal. 4-2 Trenton lead, 60 seconds to go here in the second period. Jacob behind his own net with it. Seconds to go here, quick opportunity. Pierce's pass goes through the crease and that should do it. Shot from Bala doesn't make it to the net. A 4-2 lead for the Trenton Golden Hawks off of the Bancroft goal. We'll be right back after a quick break. Thanks again for joining us. Emmett Pierce actually has a really cool connection to Dalton Bancroft. Emmett Pierce at one point was coached by Steve Bancroft, the father of Dalton Bancroft, so local connection. Former NHL player as well. Shot on net, scores! Dickerson with the goal. I believe that was tipped in front though. Four to three game now, just under seven minutes to go. I think that was McDougal on the goal, tipped in front. It was a Dickerson shot, but I believe that Duke McDougal got a, shot, a stick on it, rather. Now it's a one goal lead with just a couple of minutes left here in this game. We'll take another look at the goal. Dickerson came in. Yeah, McDougal just got a stick on that, put it up high. Nguyen was expecting it low, and now it's a one goal lead. McDougal's second goal of the game, so he's now sitting at uh, three goals. Excellent job there to sneak behind the defense and tip that one up on Will Nguyen. 
points, something we've come to expect from him pretty much game in and game out. Face off won by the Golden Hawks, controlled by the Dukes. Dunsmore still on the bench, six men on the ice, and time begins to tick down here. Five seconds left on the clock. Put this one down in the books as a 5-3 win for the Trenton Golden Hawks. They have a 2-0 edge now in the battle for the Hasty Peas Cup, the in-season derby style. Excellent game so far, excellent series so far, rather. The game is over, of course. Thanks again for joining us on this Halloween afternoon. It was a fun one, Lindsay. Always fun to be in Lehigh Arena. The next one, I believe, as you said, November 12th, the next battle of the Hasty Peas Cup will be at the dunk, so a smaller ice surface. Expect something from that. But again, thank second star of the game, McIntosh, two goals for himself as well. And of course, Bancroft, as you mentioned, three points on the night, one goal, two assists. Excellent play by him, uh, being a leader for this team as usual, both on the stat sheet and in the locker room. Anything to add, Lindsay? Well, we got a good game coming up here for everyone watching here in Quinian. And hopefully you can join us here at the Lehigh Arena as North York Rangers are coming to town. It is Friday, November 5th. You will have that on your TV screen. And, um, yeah, that'll be great. Next broadcast is at the Duncan Memorial Arena for the Battle of Quinney, as Ryan said, Friday, November 12th. So come out and support your local hockey clubs. Great to have everybody here live back in the arenas again, and we've got some great hockey coming up. Yeah, the best part about this Hasty Peas Cup Series is it's eight games, so this is only a fraction of it that we've seen so far. So.